one for kids as technology continues to progress. Of course, kids on their phones and the internet all, all day long, really. Well, now they can find it difficult to really uh, turn to people and find a way to get help. And there's an event this weekend. Joining me is this morning is uh, Chandra Cleveland Jennings with Palmetto Youth Connection. And there's a big event Sunday. But before we get to details of the event, I wanted to really highlight the issue right here in the Midlands. Sure. Uh, and, and this is something that you guys see and deal with a lot. Oh, very much so. It's like uh, 10 out of, uh, 7 out of 10 students are bullied in school every day. And right now, the big thing is cyberbullying. Um, high school students feel that they won't get caught as easily if they're doing it cyberly. So 82% are cyberbullying someone. Um, they say on the internet almost every seven minutes. And unfortunately, that kind of bullying can lead to catastrophic results or, or um, just the, the kids just weighing heavily on them and causing things like depression and, and unfortunately, in some extreme cases, suicide. So this is not something to take lightly. Exactly. And suicide is one of the main concerns that we want to address because um, they have given it a name in the dictionary now called bully side. And that is where a kid will commit suicide because of being bullied so much. And I have several kids in my organization that have been bullied and um, they talk about their experiences and try to move forward to it, but their thoughts were committing suicide as well. And these are kids as young as 10, 11, 12 years old. It's nine. Nine. Nine wow. years old. It's it was um, one young man and his cousin. They were nine. They learned how to hang themselves in the closet by Googling it on the internet. And one of them completed the task, and the other one did not succeed. But now she's a vegetable because she was without oxygen for a while certainly hard to hear that, but there is a lot that people can do. Parents, teachers, uh, anybody. You guys have an event coming up Sunday. Yes. Certainly a great learning opportunity and a way that people can take a stand. Yes, surely. Um, it will be at the Vibe Church at 2630 Clemson Road at 4 p.m. Um, it's for everyone. It's for organizations. We have several partner organizations such as Love Yourself, um, uh, Acting Up with Tiffany, uh, the Urban League, and so many others, um, the Brook Church, and, and so many other youth organizations that are coming out, and we're going to do skits, and we're going to hear from parents of um, survivors of bullying, and also one parent whose daughter committed suicide in February, that um, she was a transgender teen, and she jumped out in front of traffic. Wow. Yeah, it's just really hard to hear, but something people need to hear so that they can continue to educate themselves and to educate their children on what they're doing does make a difference. Thank you so much for joining us again. That event is on Sunday at the Vibe at 4 o'clock. But for now, we're going to go ahead and talk about something also very important right here in the Midlands. We are tracking possible.